Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So, um, another requested video requested by a lot of people. Uh, very simply, how can I join a multiplayer server? Now, don't snigger. A lot of people will be sniggering, saying, oh, who's stupid and doesn't know how to join a multiplayer server? Well, the answer is lots of people. We've done some research and found that there are a vast amount of people that just um, fly DCS World on single player. And that's fine, and if that's what you want to do, that's highly commendable, just stick to single player. However, um, if you want to go to multiplayer, don't be put off it, don't, buy, don't be scared by it, uh, as a lot of people uh, are. And I like to encourage multiplayer as well. Multi multiplayer is really, really good. It really uh, gets you connected with other people. How else did I start GI? I went on multiplayer, because uh, I only like flying with other humans. I don't like flying on my own. I went to multiplayer, and clicked on a server and I found a buddy and got friends with him and then now we've got yeah, yeah, 3,000 buddies or whatever because uh, it's grown um, and I, I insist that you do the same um, if you want to um, and, but it can be off-putting if you're not you know a game and a lot of people that play TCS World are not typical gamers um, so one thing to w warn you about and, uh, and I don't want to get in trouble about this but it's a, it's a small factor just bear in mind that when you do single player um, it's very simple for the computer because it's all based on your computer. It's not out on the internet at all. And so everything on, on, um, on single player will always work very smoothly, very reliably. You'll very rarely have any crashes, problems like that. But as soon as you start going to multiplayer, and this is the same with all games, it can get just a little bit uh, choppier generally, especially if you have a bad choice in server or you're not experienced in choosing servers and things like that. And so, at least to begin with, when you start going into the multiplayer games, you can see that rather than, than everything being perfectly smooth and perfectly, you know, pristine all the time, you can get a bit of lagginess, a bit of choppiness. You know, aircraft flying around can jump from here to there all of a sudden. This is normal multiplayer stuff. Again, you get it in all games. You know, you're dealing with two computers separated by 11,000 miles now. You will get things like this. Uh, the benefits outweigh the drawbacks. Um, so you can trade a little bit of choppiness, a little bit of lagginess, and it will be just a little bit if you choose the right servers, for the ability to go and fly with other people, make new friends, join a new group, all stuff like this. So I always try and get people to, into multiplayer if possible. Right, that said, what we're going to do now is click on the multiplayer um, uh, icon here, and we'll take you through step by step how to try and find a server. Stand by. Right, now we are placed into this multiplayer screen. So, this very imposing list of servers that we're treating with, don't be scared by it. I know it looks very confusing and all these weird uh, names and stuff, but it's all very simple. So, uh, these are all of the different servers, multiplayer servers that are up and available to you in your particular version <coughs> of DCS that you are running. Uh, there are no particular order at the moment, I don't think. Um, now, one thing to note, um, if you if if you later find one, when you go into one and you find one that you like, it has a decent latency and you like the guys that fly there, you can save it for later. You can save it for later by when coming out here, finding it and clicking on the favourite star, like that. Bing. You can see I've got a couple of favourites already. Uh, this one, NL and the 104th. I don't know where my other ones have gone. They seem to have disappeared, but... <clears throat> And this means that every time you come into this multiplayer area, your favourites will always come to the top, um, which is cool, so you'd have to search for them. But let's imagine, just for this example, you don't have any favourites. Uh, you're starting from the beginning, and uh, we've just got to look through this list, basically, and find what we want. So, um, one thing I noticed, um, interestingly, is the uh, rise of the Chinese servers. Lots of Chinese servers now, which is great. There are lots of Chinese people, and they appear to be getting interested in DTS, which is very good. Uh, so I live in the UK, in Western Europe, so it's important for me to get a server with... Well, it's important to everyone, actually, to get a server with um, a decent amount of ping. So you've got this here, ping. This, is, uh, this, this isn't quite accurate, but it's essentially the amount of time it takes from uh, for my computer, wherever I am, or wherever you are, to the server. <clears throat> so you want that to be as low as possible. The higher it is the more jerky and laggy the game will be basically and the longer it will take to load and all just stuff, nasty stuff like that. So I usually say if you can keep it below 150 then that's that's a good thing. Um, that's going to be similar to kind of um, single player in terms of 
um, what you'll actually notice in terms of latency. Uh, so just quickly blast through all these icons. So on this list, we've got that sign there, uh, the lock sign. That's whether it has a password or not. So that one there, Virtual Atlantic Fleet, has a password. So you won't be able to enter it unless you know them personally and you have their password. If it doesn't have a padlock, then you uh, anyone can enter it. It's public, basically. So you're going to want to be going for one that uh, doesn't have a padlock. Uh, this and ever fully figured this, what this shield means but as I understand it it's one that you should be you should be using the ones with the shields as they are protected and people can't have modifications to their planes and stuff like that I think that's what it is I stand to be corrected but the shield's a good thing I believe ping so we talked about that you want to get as low as possible if the, if there's uh, ones above 150 they start to get a little bit laggy and um, that's what I try and avoid you've got the server name it's literally just the name of the server so you've got NL I like this one it's in, it's in Netherlands uh, so it's close to me, so the ping is low. 104th, this is, I think, in America, so the ping's quite high. But um, I still use it every now and then for whatever reason. Chinese ones, we've got... I mean, they're all over the world nowadays. Uh, what have we got? Buddy Spike. Everyone likes Buddy Spike. It's very, very popular. Uh, Germany. Germany's very low ping. Again, kind of, well, Central Europe. And, uh, oh, we can even try out our German, which we haven't done for a while. We'll come out of them. Uh, online aerobatics, welcome from the online aerobatics. So it's German aerobatics. Uh, so if you want to know about the server and how to behave in the server and the rules in the server, you see I clicked on this one here and you can see it lists a load of rules. Now it's all in German, um, which I've actually I've really got to try this quickly. Wir bieten euch einen Neidrisch Ping dedizieren Server. So... Uh, we bring to you, plural, a lowest or something, nil ping dedicated server. So if you're German, you can read through that and it will give you a list of uh, uh, demands of you when you enter. Ah, here's a better one, Kirk's Hanger. So decent ping, 99 ping, that, that works for us. Kirk's Hanger, it's going to be in English. Whoop, whoop. Uh, so welcome to Kirk's Hanger. Uh, DCS Simple Radio, so if you use Simple Radio like the Grim Reapers do, then that's there for you to use. Uh, he's got some information about it, a home page, he's got a Discord about it if you want to go in the Discord and talk to them. Uh, which is a very common thing, but people who like to go in multiplayer on, well, any game, like to use Discord, and we're no exception. Here's some rules, so no team killing, so don't go in there and shoot the guy on the same side down, or you will get kicked out and banned. Have fun and stay fair. Mission description, and it gives us a description of what you want, to, what to, you're going to do there. Uh, and that's it, and then some other information you may or may not want to use, things like radio frequencies, uh, stuff like that. Um, now, <clears throat> look into this box here. <clears throat> Excuse me, once you've clicked on the server, this tells you what aircraft are available and wh what aircraft are in use. So we can see on the blue side, currently in use, are these aircraft here, flown by these people here. So you can even see what people are in there, if you uh, know certain people. Um, red, there's no one on red. Uh, yep, that's fine. And here are unengaged units. So these are the stuff that is available to fly. There's 10 A-10s available to fly, 10 Vigans. So if you want to fly a Hawk today, Bosch there, you've got two uh, unused Hawks that are available to fly. So that's that. And here are the server options. Um, so you have, when you make a server, you have, in DCS, you have different options you can use. You could make everyone immortal. You could make everyone... Uh, I don't know, you can put various options on basically. And here you can see um, what you've got. Easy, easy flight set to no, padlock set to no, radio system no, blah 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 blah, GFX realistic. And it means that when you enter that server, your settings will be set to this server settings so that everyone gets a fair game basically. And you can read through that at your, uh, at your own taking. Uh, so that's that. Um, I forgot to finish off these. So after the server name is the map. So if you just want a certain map, like everyone will be running Persian Golf now. It's just uh, come out. So there'll be lots of Persian Golfs or or for Caucasus. You just want Caucasus. You can search for Caucasus uh, and so on. Mission name isn't really relevant. It just give you a rough idea. So just dogfight, you know, or training with mist on or something like that. Uh, here is the engagement of the server. Uh, the beginning number is how many guys there are in the server currently and that is how many slots there are total so there are five people out of 35 people in that server <clears throat> and this is the time that it is in yeah, no sorry that's the time that the server has been running since its last reset i think so i think that means it's three hours and 33 minutes since its last reset 
Um, generally, I find it's a good idea to try and look for one that's a low number. So it's been reset recently, it tends to be running better. So that one's, this is a very general comment, but so that one's only 16 minutes since its last reset. <clears throat> right so that's that so we want to go and try and uh, find our first server do we so uh, with the stuff bearing in mind that we've talked about what we're going to do is we've got some filter options i want one without a password i want one that's not protected i want one with players i want to play with some humans so i've come into multiplayer i've done that because i want to interact with humans for good or for bad and i want between five and 50 humans in it so i've got my humans to look at Ping! Oh dear, this isn't looking good. We've only got um, we've only got three years. Hey, that's what have I done wrong? Oopsie! Yep, I protect is actually that shield thing. That's what it is. Got that wrong. Uh, so that gives us about ten. Look um, now, ping uh, less than or equals to. So I don't want any more than one hundred and fifty, please, sir, because it will get laggy and uh, glitchy, and my I, I won't enjoy myself as much. I want the lowest ping possible, and there we go. And you can see why, look, this one is in my favourites list, because it's always low lag, uh, low ping, it's always full of people, so uh, that would be a common reason for that. Uh, I love the American servers, but for me, in England, they are very laggy, so that's why um, I generally... Uh, and I want to fly today only on the Persian Gulf, please. So, OK, Persian Gulf. Ah, right, it's filtered it down to one server, and that's the one I'm going to go on. It just happens it's on my favourite list, but you can ignore that. Um, now, if for some reason you don't get anything up, uh, even before all of these um, stipulations, um, first of all, go and rebuild your, uh, sorry, repair your DCS. You do that through the Windows start bar, what I call the start bar down here. You'll click on it, you'll go and find Eagle Dynamics, and under that you will find a repair function. Click repair, and it will repair any damage that's been done, uh, which is always very possible because it's a very complicated application. <clears throat> and that may fix it. Second, assuming that all of your um, um, internet is working correctly, uh, you know, test it out on a browser, make sure your internet is working correctly. The next most likely thing is that your version is out of date. And I can show you how to check that. We go exit. Our version is at the bottom right here. And just to extra double make sure that it's up to date, again, we'll go to the Windows Start Bar. Um, we'll go to Eagle Dynamics and we'll go to Update DTS. And it'll, it'll ensure that you're running the most recent DTS, and that's a good reason why you wouldn't be seeing any servers in there. Uh, slight caveat there, if you're running the Steam version, um, now, I, I think this is true, if you're running the Steam version, which I don't, sometimes um, you can be slightly out of date in the updates, I think, at least it used to be like that. So that can be a reason if you're running Steam and you don't see any servers for a few hours, it, sometimes it does update uh, a little bit later. But... It may not be like that anymore. I don't know. Right. Uh, so that's all I could think of to help. Um, you can, if you need to search for a server, let's uh, just take these stipulations off for just a second. I'll show you searching for a server. Um, don't have to take these out like that. Look. Um, if I want to search for the Grim Reapers, raw type Grim. Oh, great! It's not up. Okay, we do have a Grim Reapers public server, but it's not up today for some reason. Uh, you would type Grim in there, and that would obviously find it. Right. Uh, that's all I can think of. So. Let us jump into a server, shall we? All you do is double click, and off it goes. Um, like I mentioned earlier, single player, if, you, if you're a guy that uh, just does single player, um, it, single player always runs smoothly and more consistently and less uh, and more bug free and you know and and all of these things because multiplayer is much much more complicated in how all the stuff in the background is being done all, all the you know the server and the computer stuff um so there will on my multiplayer servers you will probably see glitches you will see people flying beside you and then suddenly they glitch and move a bit we get it the same on our private servers it's something you just get used to you just learn to filter it out, out out of your mind all games get that because of the nature of um you know uh, the fact that we are so far away from each other and uh, and so on uh, so once you're in um, if you haven't seen the screen before which you might not have I suppose um, still loading at the moment so I'm just going to hold up for a little bit <coughs> oh this is the first time I've run Persian Golf on this version so it will go a little bit laggy and slow for the first time that's how DCS works I think it has to do something the first time it runs a new map, something like that. Right, so um, I, I can choose, in this particular map, I can choose blue or I can choose red. So that's, that's fine, so today I want to be red, because I'm a red guy. 
and I today I would love to fly the J11 so you can scroll down here you can find um, I think that's the airbase on the left that's the type of plane there no sorry that's the, that's the name of the flight there that's the type of plane there uh, position country airfield and so on and if I click on this J11 here still going a little bit slow so we're just gonna wait I'm gonna click on him There we go, got there in the end. Like I said, don't be put off. If you get here, you see, uh, you probably can't see it, but it's really choppy at the moment. I can barely click on anything. Don't be put off by that. When you're coming into a uh, multiplayer server, especially for the first time, it will be really slow as it just has to pre buffer everything and load everything much kind of generally, like I said, laggier and slower than the single player. Don't be off by, put, put off by that. It will go away. We'll get back to normal after a while. You just have to be a bit more patient. It's something you'll learn with, um, with multiplayer. Okay, okay, it's starting to clear up now, so I'm, I'm briefing. I'm going to go fly. It's going to take a little bit longer to load in, obviously, than normal. But it will load in. Big public servers like this can be a little bit slow because they've got so much going on with them. Uh, but once it's all loaded in, it effectively becomes normal. And you can see everything's just getting back, starting to get back to normal there. I've got everything loaded now. And that's fine. Um, I could go an external view. And um, so this is all fully interactive in a multiplayer. That is actually a guy there. I can click on him. This is the F10 mode, by the way. Click on him. I can see his name is 821. That's a weird name. That doesn't sound like a human. Let's find a bloody human, please. Hmm. No, not going to get any humans today. There are humans in here somewhere, I just can't see them. But essentially, yeah, these will be a bunch of other humans flying around that you can interact with. You can talk to them. If you press the tab, um, tab button on your keyboard, um, it will come up with, on the left, around this area, uh, a speech tab where you can actually type to people. You can type a message and let's press enter and a message will come up and it will go to your, your buddies there. Now, I've got that turned off because uh, I make videos and I don't want that shown there. So I can't show that to you, but that's something you can do. And you can talk to the red side or the blue side or both sides. It's all stipulated down there. Um, and that's it, really. Uh, that's all I can think of saying about joining a multiplayer server. Uh, when you go in there, don't be an idiot because... Um, that you get banned um i've been banned many times by accident accidentally shooting a friend down you know it happens in combat sometimes even for accidentally shooting someone down you'll be banned from the server the last thing you do was want to start getting yourself banned from servers and in trouble with the server police so be nice uh, be fair and that's it enjoy it um that's all i can think of otherwise we'll see you later